for you uh, that I just got. Uh, I got some video of it. Uh, it rained. I spent the night in it last night and it rained. It did keep me dry, but I don't know how long it keep me dry for. Uh, it's the Wenzel Current 2. It's listed as a two-person tent, uh, but I'll let the video tell that. Uh, and then I've got a review of my sleep system that I used. Uh, mixed reviews. Uh, one real high and one real low. Uh, I'll let you find out which one in the video. Man. I just got this tent yesterday. Um, I just got it. I said, hey, I gotta try it out. I gotta see what's up. Uh, it is the Wenzel Current. The Wenzel Current two-person tent. Okay, first of all, two people, I don't think so. Uh, now, maybe you're minimalist and you can get by with, with no room at all, and, and that's great, uh, but when I purchase something and I want two people. I'm talking two people and gear. I'm not going to leave like today. It's raining. I'm not going to leave my stuff outside to get wet, so it's going to have to come in with me. There's just not enough room for two people to be comfortable in there uh, for a night, much less four nights. Uh, but with that said, I bought it as a one-person tent, so uh, I knew it didn't have a vestibule to put the gear in, so I... Uh, I uh, knew what I was getting into. I, I generally would buy this for a single person tent. Things I don't like about it. Number one, uh, it's been raining. It rained last night. Uh, I didn't get wet last night, but as you can see here, uh, there's water pooling up. It, it's not a very taut uh, tent. I've tried several different times to so you got over here, you got water laying on it. It doesn't shed water very well at all. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you're buying this tent thinking you're going to stay dry, you might think again. Uh, guys, if I'm the one that's messed up here, if I'm the one that's, if I've pitched it wrong, or, or if I wasn't holding my mouth right when I put it up, hey, call me and let me know. Uh, or leave me a comment. Uh, something like that, but you know, I've tried every way I can to to tighten this ridge up, and it's just not getting there. Uh, uh, as far as uh, the room inside for one person, hey, it's great. Uh, it, it is really, really great as far as room. As far as wet, if you're looking for a tent to keep you dry. I just don't think that this is going to be the one. Uh, you know, I'll, I, I paid thirty dollars for it uh, with shipping and handling. It was all grand total. It was thirty bucks. So, you know, I'm not really out much as far as I'm concerned. But to hey, to somebody else that, that might be looking at this, that you know has saved for four or five months to be able to buy, you know, a tent. I hate for him to go out and get this tent, and and then you know. It, it, it performed the way it's performed for me. Um, I just I would hate that for that to happen. Uh, like I said, Wenzel Current two person. In my opinion, it's a single person, but it is listed as a two person tent. Okay, things I do like about it. Um, I like the door that it's all the way open. Uh, I'm a fat man, uh, so. Uh, Getting in and out is, is kind of a, a hassle, uh, but the door opens all the way up. They give, they give you as much room as they can. It's a D style, so this whole thing, really that right there is the only, only thing you've got. Really that right there is the only thing you've got that's not uh, open up in the front. you got your whole D thing here. So you, you've got enough room. You've got a lot of room to get in. Uh, is it is it easy to get in? No, but you're camping. You're not walking through your front door. You're getting into a tent. Um, so, 
you know, you got to take the, the good with the bad, you know. Plus, uh, I did weigh it before I brought it out here. Uh, weighed it up, and uh, it uh, was just over two pounds. Uh, I think it was two pounds, four ounces. Uh, and uh, it, uh, so it's not going to be too hard to carry. So uh, am I am I counting it as a total loss? No. <laughs> I will probably take it and put it in my day hike uh, pack, which is a uh, Maxpedition Falcon 2. It'll fit easily in there. So I will probably take it, put it in there, and uh, and use it as a uh, just kind of emergency shelter kind of thing. Uh, and uh, that's about it. Uh, Guys, I'm sorry I'm not doing a very long one on this one. It's got a vent. You can you can you can open up the the inside door, uh, and it's got venting here in the front. Uh, and then it's got uh, underneath this back thing. It's got a it's got a uh, a vent up there. I don't know if you can see there or not, but there's a vent up there. So you you got some venting there, and you got some some uh, way to get air in and out. Uh, I slept in it all night last night. It was pretty cold. There was not a lot of condensation on the inside of the tent, uh, but there was some. So I know that it's not, the water's not penetrating. Uh, it will keep you dry for how long, I don't know. But it it, uh, it just not, just not what I expected. I guess I'm kind of disappointed in it. Uh, but, uh, you know, just uh, beware. Uh, I'm supposed to have another tent coming, uh, the uh, High Tech uh, V Light 2. Uh, I'm hoping for much better from it. Um, Intense Angler's done a review on his. There's been several other reviews done, and everybody tends to really like it. So I'm going to wait and uh, and uh, get that one and, and see what happens. But uh, probably won't be taking this one unless uh, uh, you know something else changes. Uh, okay, guys. Maybe if as uh, as well as my tent last night, I tried out my new sleep system. This is the new uh, or my new uh, Featherlight zero degree uh, sleeping bag. It did a great job. I was really happy with it. Uh, inside, it's got the uh, thing that goes over the zipper, so that you're not losing a lot of air through your zipper. It's got a full all around neck collar uh, it's got a drawstring so you can really close it up around your head uh, like I said last night it, 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 it only got down into the probably mid 30s uh, but I was warm and toasty no problem with it whatsoever it's also got a little uh, zipper pocket for like your keys any valuables you might have or anything like that uh, as well as this I used my new sleep mat which is made out of uh, dust insulation. Same thing you make uh, the pot cozies out of. Made it out of that. Uh, it's really light. I haven't weighed it yet, but it weighs almost nothing. Uh, the only thing I did was I put duct tape around the sides so that no water could get into it, and and, and you know, hopefully no water will ever get into it. But any water get into it and stay. So, uh, but really, really. Enjoyed the system. Uh, tried to think about negatives. I really didn't have anything negative to say about it. But the more I got to thinking about it, the one thing that I wish that this bag had that it does not have is a zipper pull on the inside of the bag. You have to um, contort yourself uh, in order to be able to, to zip up the, uh, the, the sleeping bag. It does have a nice pull on the outside, uh, but on the inside, it doesn't have one at all. It does have a uh, hang loops, so when you're storing it, you can hang it up. Uh, it's uh, best if you if you hang it up rather than rather than just let it uh, uh, stay in the in the compression sack. It did come with a really nice compression sack. Uh, compresses down to. You know, not too big at all, uh, comparatively for a sleeping bag. Of course, I'm used to the military sleeping bags. Wow, you know. So, uh, it does have a uh, 
a zipper that zips from the bottom up. So if you get warm during the night and need any ventilation, then uh, you can go ahead and get that. So overall, the sleep mat and the, uh, the sleeping bag. The sleeping bag, I think, was uh, $24. Uh, and the uh, sleep mat for a 4x4 four four sheet of this, I paid like 7 bucks. Uh, I got it from a uh, heating and air conditioning supply place. Uh, no, actually, it wasn't a supply place. It was a, a heating and air conditioning business. Uh, they were really good about, uh, told them what I was doing. I, you know, really good about uh, uh, you know, cutting me off a sheet. Uh, they did. Evidently, I'm not the only one who does this because they have a per, first, per, per square foot price for it, which wasn't much. Uh, the only other place I found this was in a bigger city. We live in sort of a small town. So the only other place I found it was in a bigger city at a, uh, a, uh, a chain store. Uh, something similar to a Lowe's or something like that. But anyway, uh, and it was much more expensive there. So we just got it here. Uh, worked out really good. I didn't get cold at night. Didn't feel a draft. You know how a lot of times you feel a little bit heat loss on your back? Never felt that at all. It was great. Uh, I have a inflatable self-inflating mattress. I like this as much or better than I did that. Uh, so really good, uh, really good sleep system, I think, uh, for the weather around here. Now, obviously, I'm not going to take this to the North Pole or Alaska or Minnesota where it gets to negative 17. Probably not going to work. Uh, but for here, for the type of camping I do, good system. I really enjoyed it, slept comfortably. Uh, it was awesome. So, thumbs up on this one.